Let's just get out of here then, shall we? I imagine we're going to come up with some kind of resistance on the way out, I imagine. I hope not, but we never know. Are you going home for a day, Miss Hilda? Yes, I believe so. Just be sure not to do a majesty any further discourtesy. That's not fair. Please relax, we are patron patriots to the core. That's good to hear. Now I believe that we should be on our way. Pardon me. By your leave. By the way, ladies. I don't think we ever got your names. May we ask them? That's a very modern name. Pardon my dang so. Doesn't sound right for you. How about you, miss? You may call me Karen. Karen, you say? That's a very pretty name. You're too kind, sir. I'm more fond of it myself. Are you now? Alright, oh, we're here with special ops. My name is... I think that's just about enough. I sent an ulterior motive at work. No, I mean, of a least not from us. Please be safe on your way home. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popularity? It's like your eyes changed when I told you in your name. Hey, it was not. I didn't say you shying away from joining the conversation. I kind of lost my confidence there. What's all the noise about? Oh, Duke Dunan. Ah, it's Lady of Court. Ah, oh, you maid. You don't look familiar. These are two new hires whom I'm instructing. This is Dorothy, and that's Kevin. We're still quite inexperienced, so I'm giving some extra training time. Come now, Felic. Enough of you staring. Quite unusual to see you coming from you. Stiff up lip and all. Please pardon my rudeness. You look much like my niece. My eyes are paying tricks on me, it seems. I'm dreadfully sorry for this courtesy. Oh, it's no bother. Please don't concern yourself. You know, now when I stop and look, you, you, you say you most look quite lovely. You have grown hair and hair. You're quite healthy, clean look to you. As for your personal thing, you'd look best with raven hair. Yours even longer. I'm honoured. Ah, yes. Darvey, was it not? You should attend to me this evening. Your Grace. Your Grace, for your flirtations are well flattering. Are best saved for another time and place. All of the maids of the castle work directly in the service of Her Majesty of Queen Alicia. I trust you have not forgotten. I know, I know. Some folks simply can't appreciate a joke. <laughs> a castle will be mine in a week's time anyway. Set aside time for some fun then. Your Grace, please know more of that. I don't mind when you drink to your excess, but you do know how your libido gets such instances. I say this knowing full well when I may be reprimanded for it. I said I was just joking. Enough, I'm going to bed. Oh, right, Dorothy. Let me know if you have any problems, anything at all. I'll give you the best advice the future king can give. Thank you very much. Aren't you cute? Yes, good, good. I apologise unreservedly for a fuss. His grace would likely remember nothing of this in the morning. Please set your mind at ease. I certainly should hope so. I'm truly sorry. Madam and young missus. I beg your pardon, I must take my leave. As I face through the door. Ah, so badly for him. He truly seems to bear the weight of the world in his shoulders. Ah, oh, do you know Mr. Philip personally? Yes, ever since we were children. But not nearly as well as he once did. Thanks to all he serves. I see. Seems like he's nervous all the time, doesn't he? But about everything between the Duke and the Colonel is getting completely on edge. By the way, what was that you were saying earlier about me being a popular one? The Duke certainly seemed to be awfully fond of you. Ah, uh, please. I like to keep my food in my stomach, thank you. Right, back before, I feel like I'm missing something. Why would the Duke want some tea so late? Estelle, allow me to elucidate the matter of tea why a gentleman should never be requested in polite company. Huh? Come closer. Now, do you understand? Um, yes. Hopeless. Completely hopeless. See, that lack of, um, 
I think the best term to use of lack of common sense, of lack of worldly knowledge. Her innocence is very, very appealing. Thanks for everything, both of you. If not you, I would know, know what we would have done. Please, it was the least we could do in a magic service. Please only ask what you complete with a question made of you. I feel the same way. I beg you, do everything you have power to save a princess. Oh, you want to look well retainers? Yes. I regret I rarely get a chance to serve her directly. She's so kind and open. She always treat me more like a friend than a servant. Thought of being held captive keeps me up at night. I understand. Well, the rest of you can easy ease now on the job. I was probably going to get into another cutscene as I wander over this corner. Oh, what might you risk out with doing? Ah. Oh, Captain Maltea. Good evening. I realise you've been invited here, but don't you think it's a bit late for kids to be wandering around? Please pardon us. We've certainly been invited to a castle like this. We couldn't resist the urge to take a look around. Oh, that's certainly understandable. So where were you half an hour ago? Please enlighten me, if only for my own edification. Can't be there. came from downstairs so it can't be Oh that's strange. I was making a round through there, I never saw you. Well come let's not waste taste time in our games. I actually received reports of you going in and out of our maid's quarters several times. Do you not think it a bit odd to be looking around in that particular place? You don't think about questioning someone like that when you already have a fax they all crawl? I take that as a compliment. It's what business you have in maid quarters. I suggest that you answer honestly. Oh, Estelle, Joshua. You've been here the whole time. Sin. Now, now that's the stuff. You're drunk. Oh yeah, sorry. And hey, you've made my favourite gorgeous officer lady. Nice. So lucky we meet up again, eh? I suppose. So what's going on? My students here causing any trouble? Students? No, it's just that we're in a maid quarters for a while. We really want to know the business is simply a security per precaution. Yeah, I totally get ya. I said I'm off to find some munches in my booze. Hey Joshua, you find anything to eat? No, the cooks aren't back yet, I guess. We went to ask a maid for any any way we could get our hands on something, but no luck. Oh well, I have to do that route, I guess. Hey, is that a great idea? You want to come and join me for a drink? I mean, nothing goes without drinks with like a beautiful lady. I'm afraid I'm busy, so I have to decline your generous offer. My apologies for misunderstanding, but I advise you to return to your room and remain there for the rest of the night. After investigating suspicious activity, you understand? Of course. It is late. We should probably go, just go, go to bed. Very good, then. Don't be excuse us. I can't wait to put him in a place. Ah, denied. Oh well, might as well just go back to the room. Right, go. We'll go with you. Uh, looks like I managed to come into at least. Zin, aren't you drunk? I was acting drunk. I haven't actually had a single drop. No way, your face even gone all red. He focuses on making his blood circulate better. We've made it look like he was intoxicated. It's done with some kind of Eastern martial arts breathing exercise, right? I'm surprised you're familiar with it. Hey, you seem to be in a tight spot, so I figured I'd distract everyone. Nice, sir. Save your bacon, and the saying goes. You're an evil, evil man, Zin. Okay, sure, you did help us out, but you also surprised the hell out of me. Sorry about that. So, what's the story? What story? I thought it'd be obvious. The story of meeting with a queen. Wait, what? How did you? Oh, did Elden tell you something about it? Actually, I couldn't get him to tell me anything. But now I know anyway, don't I? Without prior knowledge, there's no way you could have just guessed. How much do you really know? And I guess it's, got, it's finally time to show you this. What's this? Oh, I know this handwriting. But don't just stand there, read it. It'll explain a lot. 
Okay. Dear Zin the Vapak, I've been to find you well. I know I've been out of touch. I'm in a hurry, so I hope you'll find my, pardon my bluntness. My work concerning the Jaeger is leading to Imperial territory. However, due to the fact that unusual forces seem to be influencing matters inside Labell, I feel uneasy being absent for so long. This is why I must ask a favour of you. I would ask you to persuade you to come to Labell and help out if needed. Since you haven't been to Labell before, perhaps you can think as a recreational trip. There is a martial arts competition before the Queen's birthday celebration, and foreigners can participate. It'll be a fine camouflage. Realise this all of a sudden? But I'm sure you can do it. I'm most grateful. I intend to return to Labell before the festival. So hopefully we'll be able to have a drink together when I return. Cassius Bright. P.S. You may have a chance to meet my son and daughter. They're currently apprentices of the guild. Happen to meet them? Feel free to test the extent of their training. Try not to bail them out too much. It seems like they really need it. So Dad actually asked you to come to Bell, Which means he's an Eberbonia now. That's a long and short bit now. A long and short bit? What means is you had a good with Dad. That's kind of a nasty way to put it, don't you think? I owe Master Cassius a favour, from a time he's about in Calvard. This letter just gave me a chance to make a square again. So I didn't realise that we were his kids. I had a feeling from the outset once I saw his stealth techniques of a bow staff. I asked Kiliko about it, and Matt confirmed it. it would have been nice if you had said something about it all. I'm been avoid sick wondering how Dad's been. I know. And I'm sorry I haven't said anything. But I got the impression from the letter he was trying to keep his whereabouts a secret. So he definitely his kids, alright. You can put up a job off as big as sneak into an audience to the Queen. I suppose so. He knows that much. He wouldn't hurt to tell him everything, right? I agree. It's probably best if he feels zin in on everything. It's a bit far fetched to say we could put an end to the whole situation on our own after all. I see. I thought something seemed a little off when everyone was talking at the party. Alright then, I'll help you out with a little quest. Yeah, I think this is an ideal opportunity to settle my debt with Bastard Cassius. Please let me help. We'd be glad to. Thank you once again. What is this place? I never would have imagined that something like this even existed. It's large and unexpected. Lieutenant Lawrence. Be so kind as to show us the way to a lowest level? Yes, sir. Whoa! Is that some kind of mechanical monster? Well, well. So these must be archa archaisms. Archaisms. Holy shit. I took that thing in one stroke. Ha! <laughs> you were the quickest react. You are indeed a truly a force to be reckoned with, and you don't hold back. You flatter me, sir. Your quick draw technique as well as quite remarkable to behold. See where you stood it under the Divine Blade himself. I am humbled. I have ways to go before I can humble anyone, I'm afraid. Time waits for no man. Skills are possessed, and now will have to be enough. My strength may be meagre, but I must forge this kingdom of future with my own two hands. My brave men, the way to the ultimate power is open. A bright new dawn approaches for our beloved Labell. I expect only the best of each of you. For the glory of Labell! That's not ominous, is it? I understand the situation. You both performed admirably. I'm amazed you were able to deliver Professor's message to Majesty in person. The real question is just how much longer is looking to me on our side? Yes, we really are going to stay focused. You understand that already? There's nothing more I can tell you. In any case, we consider Professor Russell's request to be fulfilled. Please accept this as compensation. First class new bracer. See the gladiator belt. Now in Zin. It was pure providence that Cassius invited you here. You need the help of an A-rank bracer like yourself. No need to even ask. If they didn't have a debt to repay to Cassius, I couldn't possibly stand idly by in a situation like this. I'll move you until the end. I knew we could count on you, Zin. By the way, what's this A rank business? It's a rank that signifies a full fledged bracer's full power. There are seven ranks ranging from G to A. So, he's the highest rank you can get. Never knew I was such a badass, Zin. 
Well, I may be A-ranked, but I'm still an underling, so to speak. There are 20 A-rankers across the continent. Above that, there's an informal S-rank. That one's only granted a bracer to successfully resolve issues on a national scale. There are only four of those on the entire continent. Not sure you even want to think about it, what I can do. You can really don't know any about that stuff, do you? One of these still forward is Master Cassius. What? Okay, Joshua. You're not going to tell me you knew about this already, right? Sorry, but... Yes, I did. I saw a major case of the public about five years ago. I swear. It's hardly worth him getting upset anymore. War Army Soldier, Hidden Hero, Divine Blade, S Frank Racer. He really so damn awesome, and it sure be nice if he's come back and take care of this case. You may be right. If you reverse it, perhaps this would never escape to the point where a coup d'etat is even possible. Just thinking about how strange this is. This whole change of events apparently started with Dad going off on his trip. Is this whoever planned this coup was waiting for him to be gone? At least just that's such a person I have. Oh. What are you saying? Is a coup was planned around the departure of the Empire? Am I correct? No, I'm sure that'd be overthinking things. Can't think of anyone who could possibly manipulate Dad like that without him being noticed he was being used. But have to have known him and his behaviour pattern exceptionally well to be able to pull it off. Never knew what he was up to even though he was so close. I don't think Colonel Richard could ever imagine to pull that wall over his eyes. More likely, but it's just two major events happen to overlap each other. Regardless of the circumstances, we cannot quickly rely on Cassius to help. Therefore, resolve to prepare for the worst. I believe emergency consult with branch or branch or bracer guild is called for. All other things being equal, we have received a request that comes directly from Her Majesty. Third article of Bracer Code states that we never act in a fashion that interferes with the government. We cannot ignore Her Majesty's request, however, so we must act. There are no match for a world army as we are. I ask for cooperation of all branches in Gransel, including Zinn, of course. Coming conflict with an intelligence division, we'll need all the help we can get. Ideally, we should have a cooperation of all Bracer branches. The checkpoint has been completely sealed off for, as of today ostensibly to foil any potential terrorist activity. So basically it amounts to martial law. The enemy is finally moving at full tilt. This may be to strifle any activity of a part of where a guardsman is hiding, as well as ourselves. If we're going to conduct a rescue operation, we have to do it with the resources on hand. Oh fun. But we're up for it. We do have a solid idea where prison's being held. That's something on my mind for a while now actually. But the most likely place will be Herb Oil Villa. That's a building in a forest, right? Makes sense. Soldiers are using it under pretenses of counter-terrorism. If you would question it. Can't imagine I want to lock a lady of a royal family in a salad making fortress. Considering it's the army going to against here. I'd like a more solid confirmation, however. We assaulted the wrong place. We have hell to pay for it. Yes, precisely. In your case, we must assemble any braces currently in the royal city. Could I ask you to assemble me for me here? Any information you can gather the whole will be appreciated. I'm not mistaken, Estelle. You and your friends are acquainted with a reporter, correct? Oh, you mean Neil? Yeah, we should see if he's picked up anything significant. We must also attempt to enlist the aid of a guardsman who's in hiding. And get him to contact me, it would be appreciated. There's no words to get in touch with his sister, Julia. She helped with the invitation before, so we should let her know what's going on. Out of the queue for you to win. There are also Kurt, Grant, Karna, and Annalise. Check the bars and usual hangouts. I also be in a hotel. Right, off we go. Yay! What's that new item anyway? Um, okay, drone 10, minus 10. Auto CP up. we we'll go for Gladiator Belt for you. I'm also going to end the episode here, so thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.